Amy socks and this is my sister Jolie socks. We basically don't throw anything away. And one of the things we love doing is turning these old pieces of junk into really cool planners. So we found this really cute old patio chair. It's really not going to serve much use as a patio chair anymore. It has no seat. The feet are actually totally rusted out, but we think it has a really cute shape to it and we really like this chair. So for years we've been turning these old chairs into planners. So we're going to take this one and show you how to make it the perfect succulent planner. We love succulents because they're super easy to take care of, which is a big plus for me. Jolly loves them because they're beautiful and they really just kind of look good in any setting. We want to give the chair a little bit of color, so we're going to do our favorite dry brushing technique with our favorite color turquoise. So dry brushing is really one of the easiest ways to paint. You just get a little bit of paint on your brush, not much, and then you just start doing this, kind of hitting all the high spots, and just don't put too much pressure because you don't want it to be solid. But I also love the fact that you still see the rust coming through because we love rust. So you've got the rust, plus you've got turquoise, and then it's going to be a quirky little planner, so it's the whole package. The great thing about dry brushing is it doesn't use much paint and it dries really fast. It's actually already dry and we're ready to move on with this project. So the next step is we're actually going to form a basket where the seat used to be. We're going to use chicken wire and this is what we're going to plant in. All right, so this is just basic poultry netting or chicken wire that you can get from your local feed store. Just kind of place it over your seat and ballpark what size you want, you know, and then we're going to cut it. We're going to cut bigger than we need and then we're going to push it down and form it in here. So to cut this, the best thing to use is just a pair of wire cutters. You might want to throw on your garden gloves or your work gloves for this project because the ends of this wire are pretty sharp. It just makes it easier to kind of manhandle it. The goal here is to make a concave basket that you can plant in. So then we are going to attach this with zip ties. We use zip ties because they're super easy to use and you can get something really tight. So now that we have it zip tied all the way around, we're just going to cut off the excess chicken wire. So the first step once you get your basket built is to add sheet moss and you can buy this really basically anywhere. We just bought a couple of bags. We line the bottom of the poultry netting with it. It holds in moisture and it also gives it a really cool earthy kind of mossy look since it's moss. After that we're going to line it with a little burlap and then we're going to add our potting soil. Because we're planting succulents we're going to add a little perlite to our potting mix just to help with the drainage. So now that we have enough soil in here, we're going to start kind of placing our plants and then we're going to backfill with even more soil. So this part is just a lot of placing and then adding your soil to be able to keep it in one place. At this point, it's just kind of a matter of you want to add different layers and textures and colors. You know, I really like the felt of these leaves versus the shiny on the other. So you kind of want to mix all these together to have a nice little mix. Our one little tiny purple guy. Let's put him right here. And then. this one's cute. Let's give him a good spot. I just broke the purple guy. Does he go right there maybe? Maybe. Uh-oh, I just broke him too. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> so the very last step right now is that we're taking all of this kind of sedum, this hanging moss that kind of trails more and we're adding it to the very edge. So we're just filling in, we're poking it in all around the edge so it hangs over, it covers up this chicken wire and the zip ties and it really looks awesome. So this is our awesome patio chair turned into now a really cool kind of mermaid garden succulent planter. And instead of putting this at the store we thought we were going to, I think I may have to steal it and take it home. <laughs> Did I mention that I love it? I, I love it more. <laughs>